Hey guys, Bubble Pop Kids here. Get ready for some squishy, squishy kawaii style. Bubble, stop saying kawaii. It's like kawaii. Like kawaii. It means cute in Japanese. Like, get it right for once. Right, guys. So right here on my testing table, I have some of the cutest little things I think I've ever seen in my life. Most of them are squishies. Some of them are these cute little keychains. <sighs> Too cute. Where did you get these bubble? Like, where did you get these? These are unreal, like Tokyo Bakery. What? Recently, one of my good friends took a trip to Japan and she actually won all of these things in the claw machine. They call them crane games. They're those little claws that come down and pick the prizes. Now here in the US, normally they're just like little stuffed animals, but over there in Japan, they have squishies. <laughs> Can't believe it. So like she brought you cool squishies from the crane games and like you're gonna chop them? You're gonna chop them? So let's go over what we have. I'm not going to chop up all this stuff just because I think it's so, so cute, but maybe a couple. Look at this thing. Little sushi keychain. I cannot even read what that says, but it just looks so, so real. Ooh, squish it. It's got the rice. It's like a piece of shrimp. Maybe some salmon. <laughs> looks so good. She also got these little squishies. They are super miniature. I think they even make them big. The Tokyo Bakery series. These are so adorable. They're like these little pieces of toast. We got the strawberry. Honey. Ooh, what's this one? Blueberry. And regular butter. Got it. So if you guys are not familiar with the Tokyo Bakery, they have the best smelling squishes. I have like a huge bagel. These little things are like miniature toast keychains. So they have all these different fruit scents. Gotta pop these open and smell them. I don't think I'm gonna cut these because they're just so, so cute. I don't think I'll ever get them again. So I can't destroy that I got to squish and smell. Ooh, the butter looks so good. Got a little tab of honey on there. Ooh, the blueberry has some jelly. And the strawberry, a little bit of strawberry jam. These things look like real, like unbelievably real pieces of bread too. Look at the butter, look at the creases, like, can't get over it. What else? Ooh, what else do we have here? Now the only things that are not squishy are these three right here. I cannot get over them. They're like these little bags of chips or snacks, these Japanese snacks. They're actually a keychain. What is this one? Like little potato chips or little, I don't know, cheese puffs. They're just too, they're too much. They're the most adorable little things I've ever seen. When she brought me these, I just went crazy. Look at that. It even has air in it, like a real bag. Thing here, I don't know if it's Yankee, like these little Yankee chips seriously stole my heart bubble. Like they are the cutest thing on the planet. I'm putting them on my purse. Like I'm gonna display them all. Better not chop these. Better not. Look at that. So as you can see, tons of little goodies here, little squishies. Ooh, even this one. I don't know what it's supposed to be. It's got like a little strawberry. It's definitely like a squishy water ball. I'm thinking maybe we could chop this one. She brought me a few of these, so I think this is like a duplicate. What do you see? We look at everything once at a time and get to chopping. Got my shishies. Oh yeah, little bubble teenies, and if you guys are planning on like chopping up your squishies or other toys at home, just make sure you have an adult or parent supervising you because shishies are super sharp. Don't know what's in these squishies. Come on everybody, let's do this. So here as we go, we are starting with the chippy keychains. That's what I'm calling them. And the funniest thing about these is how they're like poofed with air. I do kind of have the urge to like cut one of these and hear it pop, but I can't. They're just too cute. And I gotta keep them right. <laughs> I can't destroy them. So here's the one I showed you. It almost looks like little cheese doodles. Got a picture of a potato on there. Yeah, and like I love that little potato shade and like that hairdo, like side pony, rocking that side pony. Loves it. Here's the second one. Actually, she brought me eight of these. I think they have eight in the series of these little chip keychains. So on another show, I'm going to show you those. Those are even cuter. Ooh, look at these. They're like little chips or crackers. It's like a little ghost. What is that? So oh, adorable. I've never seen anything like this. Oh, look at that. chip in Japanese bubble, but I'm not too sure, but I think that's what they are, like little spicy ghost chips. Loving this package. Filled with air, kind of squishy, 
shaky. I love that sound. Crackers. The third little chippy keychain. This is so weird, but I do know they have these in Japan because my friend told me they're like little shrimp flavored cheese doodles. They look like little french fries. I don't know about the shrimp flavor. I don't think I've ever had those, but they are so, I just love this little package. It's pink. It's got the shrimp there. Look at those little things. They look like little curly fries. Oh, and get it right, Bubba. Like, these are girly shrimp snacks. Girly. What does that mean? So weird. But, like, I love a little pink keychain. Loves everything about it. So here it is. The first three little crane game wins. Ah, oh, such a tongue twister. They are the crane game wins. We call them claw machines here, but my friend, she said they call them the crane games. I don't even know how you would pick something up this small. I mean, it's not too big. I love these because they have such different colors. Ugh, cannot believe you're not gonna chop these like. I really wanted to hear the snap of like the air popcorn gag. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, because I just can't resist, you know I love my chopping. I think I will cut one of these open. Maybe. Hmm. Maybe the little shrimpy one. I gotta get my shishies, pop it. Wow, shrimp cheese noodles are like everything. Gotta try them. So I didn't want to do this, but I think I have to. I have to. I'm going to chop up one of these little bag of chippies or these little snacks. I got to see if it pops. Just so, so curious. Yeah, you got your lovely turquoise polka dots. Well, let's do this bubble. Here goes. And when you do this bubble, do not talk. I need to hear the satisfying pop of the shrimp bag. Do it. chips why did I do this I thought it was gonna be like a popping sound or something cool but not really I just sliced it it's kind of like a super hard plastic here's our little shrimp snacks they are so so little I don't think these are like shrimpy snacks bubble these are like American twisted cheese doodles or like barbecue doodles whatevs ugh and I thought maybe these would be a little squishy nope they're kind of like a hard almost like a wood they feel like a piece of wood. Let me chop it. Ooh, plastic. Ooh, it's white inside. These are like mini Barbie cheese doodles. That's all I could say. Like little baby doll foods. Might as well slice up the rest of the shrimp bag. Cool. Bubble teams, there you go. In case you were curious, I know I was. This is what it's like to chop open the potato chip bags. There's like a little bit of air, but not too much. Some kind of like a hard plastic. Tiny little plastic treats. Saving these. So cute. Like seriously, Bubble, little tiny microscopic cheese doodle snacks do not belong on your chopping block. Get them off. Second one is a little fruit bubble. <laughs> I don't know what it is. It looks like a little water bubble. Another keychain, and it is strawberry. I have a few other ones. I think I have the pineapple, the grape, maybe the orange, but this one is the cutest. Like, why is it the cutest bubble? And like, if it's your fave, why are you chopping the strawberry squishy ball? Why? Let's open this thing up and see what we got here. Ah, so excited I've been waiting. There it is. Ooh, what is that, like a leaf? Love this little container. Here it is, wow, oh, this thing is so, so weird. <laughs> it feels like, you know what it feels like? A little piece of jello. It's definitely a little bit harder than some of the other water squishies. It's not like a splat ball, it's more of like, it's like a little jello. Whoosh. A little strawberry in there, wow.
definitely not a splat. Red. Ooh, so my first little fruit water squishy. I love it. I love it. It's got this kind of like jelly-like feel to it. Doesn't splat like a splat ball, but it is filled with some kind of water. Got to cut it. Got to get that little strawberry. Do this. Chopped it. Ooh, this thing, I thought it was going to have a little bit more water. Maybe it would have a little bit of, like, slime, but it was just this clear liquid. And it's definitely not water. It's, it's more of, like, it feels like a jello solution. Got the berry. Oh, that strawberry is, like, beautiful. And, like, this isn't jello solution. It is, like, clear, squishy liquid. Get it right? Ooh, it's not even like a squishy liquid. It is oil. Ew, it's like a corn oil. Sticky. I thought this strawberry was going to be squished, but it's not. It's like a hard plastic. Can't chop that. Love it. Well, you can't chop the hard plastic strawberry, but you can chop the squishy bubble. Ah, it's filled with oil. This is like french fry oil, seriously. So super greasy. But I love the crunchy crunch. Looks like a clear, like, jellyfish. Ugh. This poor little thing is done. I chopped it open. It had some gross oil. I've never seen this inside of a squishy or like a splat ball. Must be something from Japan. I don't know. Super cool. We got this stretchy clear rubber. Plastic little berry. Gotta keep that. So cute. Moving along. At least, like, seal it up to preserve whatever fruit it's supposed to be. Please. From shrimp cheese doodle to sushi, like your style. Oh, another cutie one. Oh, this one is so awesome. So, so cute. I got a few of these, so I'm definitely going to rip into this, see what's going on. But look at this. It is a little shrimp or some kind of fish. It looks like a salmon. Squishy. Look how there's rice on the bottom, like sticky white rice, coupled with a fish and a little keychain. Like, that's hysterical. Ooh. Shiny. We definitely, like, first things first, got to get rid of the keychain. Like, we're chopping this. We don't need no stinking keychains. Ever. Sushi! Sashimi, whatever this is. Oh, I love a good sushi. Look at this little thing. It's like this little block of rice. It just looks too, too real. It looks like it's got some oil or some butter. Maybe this is like a red snapper. You smell it. Oh, it smells so fishy. Definitely red snapper bubble. Like, you nailed it on the head. Red snapper. Definitely looks like real fish, but it doesn't smell. It doesn't smell like anything. Kind of like a little bit plasticky. Oh, but look at the squish. This looks like I'm pressing on, like, a real... <laughs> this looks like a real fried piece of fish or, like, a baked piece. Look at all that detail. It's beautiful. Yeah, like it is beautiful, super realistic in like every way possible. It's a masterpiece. Now chop it. Here we go. Slice it. Slice it through the rice, then the fish. Shrimp cushion. <laughs> oh, you're hysterical. That's like the funniest thing you ever said. Like, shrimp cushion? Ridiculous. That looks like angel food cake, bread, or like kawaii memory foam. I think it's kawaii memory foam. Like, ridiculous. So I sliced and diced the sushi fish. I thought there was going to be something else in here. Could have been like that jelly stuff, but it wasn't. We got some kawa foam. And this thing is a little bit stiff. It's not too slow rising, but it is super soft. Ooh, and it's super... It's got like a glaze on it. Almost like... 
almost like a pink. Love that. I love it too, but I'm gonna get like a serious like sushi chef on you right now, Bubble, and start like chopping this thing and make it look super good. Like, listen to the chop. Listen to the chop of like the red snapper foam. So good. Dinner is served. We got sushi on the menu. <laughs> I definitely love this. I wish it was something a little bit different inside. Maybe some of that kind of dough material. But it's like a sponge. I like it. Pull over stinky fish on white rice. We got some Tokyo Bakery to look at. Yeah. Nothing better than like toast with butter and like fruit spreads. These look delish. Ah, these things are so, so amazing. Ah, I cannot believe it. I think she got the whole entire collection. She must have spent hours trying to get this. So we get the honey. The honey butter. Oh, so, so cute. We have the strawberries and butter. I love that little red color. And these little tiny breads, they look so, so real. They just look like little, they look like little melba toast, like those little crackers. Blueberry butter and butter. Whoa, like you got to smell the butter first. Like plain old butter is the bomb. This will start with the little butter one. Now I'm under the impression that these have scents. All of them have four different flavors. That's what I'm thinking. Ooh, it's a squishy. A little squishy keychain. Whoa. <laughs> it looks like a little egg. Oh, it smells so amazing. Wow, <laughs> butter it is. I could smell this thing all day. I want to eat it. Definitely not food. It actually smells better than real toast with butter. It's kind of sweet, a little bit like a vanilla scent. Ooh, it's a little stretchy. That really looks like a poached egg or a fried egg. Or it does look like a melted butter. So, so cool how they did that. It's like shiny. Ah, so good. It smells like vanilla toast. Ah! Squish it, Bubbles. Squish it like you never squished a squishy bread before. Yeah. So satisfying. And scented is great. I tested out the butter. Ooh, let's go for the strawberry butter. So cool. That's why it's got like a little pad of the butter. You can see the white color with the jam. These are so amazing. Ooh. Strawberry jam is like amazing. Oh, definitely strawberry butter for sure. I think I like the butter one a little bit better because it was kind of like cakey or cupcakey scented. This one, you do smell like a little hint of the strawberry. It's super good, but just not as good as that one. I liked it a little better. Oh, so, so good. I don't know how they get the scents in these tiny little things. Ah, they're so little. Squishatini. Look at that. It looks like real jelly. Ooh, we got to try the honey butter. You know I love honey bubble. This looks so authentic. Super authentic. Wow. Looks like lemon. Oh good. This one smells almost exactly like this one. Very buttery and creamy. And there is a little hint of the honey scent. Ah, too, too good. If you had these like on your backpack or a keychain, I think someone would smell these from like a couple feet. <laughs> they are so, so strong. It's got that kind of plasticky honey look. It's just amazing. They're not too slow rising because they're so little, but they are super, super soft. Real toast. Of course it looks like a real toast. It's Tokyo Bakery. Don't you know? Here's a final little breaded keychain. Ooh, we got the blueberry butter. Oh, this one looks cute. I like the purple color. A little bit of color scheme going. Ooh, it's extra toasty. Look at that. I don't know how they do it. Do they spray paint it or like airbrush it. it looks so real. Love the crust. There it is. The jam. Smell it. Ah, uh, Blueberry City with this one. Blueberry City. So good. Interesting. Another amazing little toasty scent. You do smell a little blueberry. You smell the fruit. You smell the butter. I seriously love them all. But I think my absolute favorite, and I didn't think it would be, was just the plain Butter, <laughs> it had such a good smell. It smells like a cupcake. Sandwich keychains rock. Look, we're gonna do like a quadruple decker. We're gonna start with like the strawberry, and then we're gonna get a little blueberry, and then we're gonna get some honey. Ta 
top it off with butter. Look at that sandwich bubble. <clears throat> oh no, the time has come to pick one of these to chop. I think even though this smells the best, I gotta chop it because these are just a little bit cuter. I wanna keep them. Chop in the plain. right up the center oh, wow even when I cut this open you can smell that buttery cupcake scent and there's something like a plastic in there what is that I've never seen that inside of one of these little squishes what is it hmm I don't think it's much it's just like a super tiny piece of plastic like nothing too important but look at this such a nice slice and smells so buttery Look at this. Love it. You picked a good one. Yes, and we are on to our final little squishy. Actually, this one is not a squishy. It's more of a squeeze toy, like a little biscuit. Ooh, it's got some chocolate, some cream. This little guy is super cute. Like, I forgot his name, but he's, like, super popular in Japan bubble, but you don't know him. He looks like a bear and, like, a little seal mixed together. And he's on a cookie. I can't believe your friend won this. Loves her. Pop this little baby open and see. We definitely have to chop this, and I'm chopping it because she gave me two of them. Ooh, it's got a little bell. Little jingle bells. Ooh. This one's kind of weird. I don't know why. It has like a little bit of grease on it. My hands are getting greasy. There's grease in the bag. It's going on with that, but I love the squeeze. Look at this. Look at that little squishy thing. It looks almost like a brown slime. Look at that. Whew. Actually, it looks more like a pancake. Like, who cares? Bubble, it's taking you forever and a day to, like, chop this thing. Squeeze it one more time and, like, chop out the squishy brown stuff. Do it. Here it goes. Ooh. That poopy. Oh, doesn't look like poopy. This looks like chocolate, like confectioner's cream. Looks delicious. Like, take the rest of it out. Just, like, pull it out of there. Look at that. Look at that. It's like brown slime. There it is. This is the coolest feeling. <laughs> feeling. I don't know what it is. It's not like a rubber. It's not like a slime. It's kind of in the middle. So, so cool. It's so soft. Squish this thing forever. So cool. Let's give it a little chop and like see the shiny goodness inside. Like it's super shiny. Look at that. Looks almost like a chocolate, like a chocolate gelatin. It's like pudding. Seriously. Little pieces of pudding. Nice. And like you might as well chop up this pancake. See what's going on with it. Not much. Bubble teams, this was the final squish it chop of the day. So many cool ones. I actually love this. Kind of like a super hard rubber. I didn't like this piece too much, but this brown stuff is so, so cool. It's really soft. I gotta keep this. I like it. Well, you like this, and like I like this little bell that's on here. So you take the brown stuff, and I take this little jingle bell. Looks like an earring. Look at that. So pretty. What a mess. Not too, too bad. Nothing like my usual squishy videos. Oh, these things were all so adorable. So different. I've never seen little things like this, like these little chip -it bags. This is like my first little fruit ball. Gotta get more. Actually, I do have more. Maybe we'll chop a couple. Yeah, well, like, whatever, because I seriously loved everything. Like, everything from the Tokyo Bakery and the claw machine, she won this in. Like, I love this. We're going to have so many more fun videos coming up on the show. And if you want to subscribe to our channel, 
just click this big yellow bubble with the bubble gum machine and subscribe. Have a great day, you guys. Bye.